This is gonna be a little bit of a tutorial on block fruits. Now, I don't know why I said level one. I'll, I do have almost every single game pass, besides the uh, one, the fruit notifier. This is gonna be a little bit of a guide on block fruits first C, not the full first C, but just explaining a ton of things that you probably don't understand in the first C, and also some tips that will help you grind. This is what this is probably this is going off what I've done to help me get to, se to the 700 levels. Um, this is only going to be your first, like, 100 or something levels. So this is going to be from Pirate Starter all the way to the Frozen Village Island. Um, going through every island on in the entire map. This would probably be a very long video. Um, you can just follow what I'm doing. Just getting these chests over here and stuff. Um, you're only going to have a combat fighting style. I don't have combat, because once you buy a new fighting style, you do lose combat and you cannot get it back. So keep in mind that will happen. Um, the main method of getting money, if you want to get money really fast, don't buy it with Robux. Go down here and just get 2x money game pass. Mastery, boss drops, fast boats, dark blade, fruit and fire, whatever you want to do. For the sake of it, I do have dark blade, but I'm going to be using my spiky trident, because I like spiky trident. Of course, it fits my character as well. If you know who I am, then... Cool, you know who I am. There's, you don't get really anything special, you just, you just know the anime. Anyways, your your bandit quest giver is this is the character you want to go to. This dude is very important on. He, this is not the same model on every island, but he's very. Imp there's a quest giver on every single island. Not all islands, but most islands have quest givers. This is one, now this quest only. This quest giver only has one quest. I know only one. Not really bad, but you're gonna be grinding these bandits until level five. Not five. Ten. Level ten. To go to your next island. Once you do that, then your next island is just called it's called a jungle. It's very easy to get to. And actually, here's a little cool move on this move. You can only get this in third C though, so you're not gonna be able to get this in first C. Um, but do that a few times. Get around a thousand, which you probably only need to, if you have too much money. You only need like those two chests that I showed you. Grab those, and then only one quest you should have over. Now, if you want to get 6,000, now, this is if you want to get this, the swords, which, of course, I already have these, the katana and cutlass. Now, I'm going to use the um, katana, cause, but they both do the exact same thing, because you can see on the moves on the uh, cutlass, it has quiet rush and air slash. This also has quiet rush and air slash. They take the same amount of mastery, do the exact same thing. They're the same thing. They, there's nothing special about them. So, it's just... However much master you have on them does count. So every th so you might see the stats thing. I'm going to explain to you what these do. These each one of these stats do. So you can see your race is human. Um, sometimes you can spawn with a different race, but if you want to change your race, there's no reason to do that in first C. Um, because there's no way to get V2, V3, and V4. Um, you can get human, shark, angel, and rabbit. Um, you can only get cyborg and uh, the other and a uh, ghoul in second C. But you need to be level 700 to get there, and you also need a lot of stuff for that. No, oh, I thought that was a dude coming up here. So, your melee... So, your melee increases the damage on your fighting style, like, um, combat, or water, kung fu, dark step, electric, whatever you got. Um, it also gives you energy, so when you dash around or do attacks, that's what it will... It will use that. Um, your defense, this is very good, because it gives you more HP, your health, your need, and... I think it makes it, yeah, no, it just, it just, I think it just, that's all it does, it's just HP, which makes you more bulky. Your sword, of course, you probably know that just upgrades your sword damage. That's all it really does. Like this. Basically, that's really all it does. Oh, that dude, that dude's dead. Um, your gun, I don't have any stats in guns, because I never use them. Um, I'll showcase a gun. Uh, what, I'll do flintlock, I guess, do, well, no, I'll do, I'll do slingshot. Basically, all these do is just, like, you hold it and you just click the screen. Of course, on, a uh, PC, it's a lot, it's weirder for me on PC because I have to tap my screen because my P PC is definitely touch screen, so it's a little weirder. And yes, this is also a mobile showcase, but there's nothing different about it because it's just, there's kind of difference in the game, but the only thing that's different is my performance. It's all this different. How am I? No. Oh. oh, that's really helpful for getting my next move. Anyways, um, accessories, you get this from bosses. You cannot get this until third C as well, so. Anything that is based off the, um, Katakuri character, or anything like that, is going to be in 3rd C, definitely. I don't know why my hand was just still pretending like I'll hold it. 
my the slingshot. Anyways, once you're level, once you have at least a thousand, get one of these swords. If you want to be a collector, get both. But if you get five thousand, go into the fruit dealer here, right? And so this fruit dealer, you can you kilo and spin will always be in stock. All the other ones like spike, you know, like sometimes these will be out of stock. A lot of the time, Buddha. Of course, this is like one of the best ones for grinding, of course, but for the sake of this, I'm going to be using Kilo because Kilo is definitely decent. Oh, dang, that does a lot of damage, actually. Oh, I didn't reach him. But yeah, basically that's what Kilo does. Now, if you really want to see what, what Buddha can do, um, you're going to zoom out a lot because it's definitely a very huge like, area. Because this is Awakened. From second C, this is not the un unawakened version. I cannot unawaken it. Here, I, ca I mean, I can if I wanted to, but literally, this just kills them. Just jumping kills these guys. But mainly, you want to use this for grinding. But I normally don't use Buddha. Now, a lot of players, I see a lot of people go into the fruit dealer to switch fruits. You don't have to do that. You can just go into your menu and hit the shop, scroll to the top, and go into permanent fruits, and then you can just switch them from here. Um, for the sake of this, I'm going to be using doe fruit because it's a lot nicer for me to use because I can do more combos and stuff with it, or kill bosses easier. But once you, if you have kilo katana or cutlass, or in your you still have combat, some which you most likely should. If you do have fast boats, this is definitely um get the enforcer is the fastest, but. You, there's the islands are kind of close. They're not too close, but they're not as far away as Third Sea. If you don't, just buy a simple dingy boat. But if you don't, like I said, if you do have these, just buy a speed boat, the free one. It's still, it's still decently fast. Like look, like it, there's, it's still decent. Like that's not really that. That's like faster than the other boats, and it's free. It's like one. This is like the second fastest or something. You might notice this area. This area is, is one of the... I think this is like the only island in First Sea with no quests. At all. But you will find a boss here that does give you a certain sword. Called the Saw. The Saw. Or Shark Saw boss. His name is, of course, Shark Saw. Um, no, he's Saw. And the sword you get is called Shark Saw. It's, a, it's decent. Um, it might sound cool at first. Because he spawns randomly. He, and he will stand, he will be standing right here, just waiting for you to come over here. Um, beware, those people can come over here and kill and kill him before you do. Um, also, always grab this golden chest. It gives you like a thousand in first C. It, and it's not a lot, but it's definitely good to have money for like spinning fruits at the gotcha when you're level fifty or anything. Um, but definitely it's cool because like this one does that in ex execution. You just kind of, you know, do that. So it's not a bad sword, and I'll probably use this for this, um, um, for this video. Um, this is the, uh, gun guy. He's a weapon dealer, but he gives you guns. Um, I think the best one you can buy from him is Flintlock. I don't, like I said, I don't use guns. So I'm not gonna be showcasing Flintlock, because I don't even have all the moves on it anyways. But you can find another fruit dealer right here. If you do have Darkblade or Yoru... This sword, the mythical from the game passes, you can just walk right in here. You need to be like level 300 or something, I think, like 350 or something to get it. To get Yoru V2 or Darkblade V2, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, that's basically, that's basically, um, Middletown basically. There is some docks, there are some chests around here that I would recommend grabbing for money. Because, like I said, you're going to need money for. Um, also, this is also very important for going to second seed. This guy right here, once you get level seven, do like the little quest that I'll show. I'll showcase it later when you get to level seven hundred. Um, it's not gonna be a bet. It's not be gonna be a very good one because I can't fight the ice admiral. But once you do all that stuff and goof around with ice admiral, kill him and stuff, you get to talk to this. You can then talk to this dude to go to second seed to fight Swan again. But you need to be level one thousand. Like I said, we'll get into that later on the game. So you want to get speedboat again. Rocket boost. What? That's not what it's called. It's called a speedboat. Eh. Anyways, that's our island right there. And also, you can use the uh, compass right here to look for your recommended quest, and it will just put like a pinpoint there. But mine's at like the last island because I'm like I'm like 
kind of close to max, not really that close to max though. But basically once you're here, you're going to see monkeys. I've seen a lot of videos where people first get here and they just start fighting them. Don't. Walk across this little bridge right here. And get your quest. You're going to need the quest. This this is mandatory for the game. You're, like You need to get quests to get more XP. Well, that sucks for him. Just kill these guys, do what you think. Also, it's kind of like a little showcase of a uh, doe. Awakened. Oh, he's dead. Ooh. A chest. It doesn't matter what the... those The value of chests are vary between um, the type of the color. If it's a blue chest, it gives the most money in the entire game. It will give the most. If it is a gray chest, it gives the lowest. So, it's gray has the highest, and then, um, gold is the, um, second best. It gives the second most, and then red, and, not red, blue gives the most money. Now, there, in third C, you can find Mirage Island with purple chests on it. It's a 1% chance of finding Mirage, but it's not very hard when you have multiple people. Also, this is the girly quest, and you need level 15 for this. Um, what do you find fragment chests or blue? No, I don't want to do him. No, I want. I don't want to do quests. I already have one. You already gave it one to me. Stop talking to me. I'm trying to you, you gain, you're not gonna give me thirty quests that I gotta stack on top of each other. They need to. They do need to add that though. Like you can stack quests to do them multiple times or something. Because it'd be kind of nice for grinding. Just kill your gorillas easily. For me, it's easy, but for you, it might not. Honestly, I remember fighting these dudes, and these guys were easier than me fighting, um, bandits. At the pirate starter. We basically just do this the entire time, get your money. He is spawned, okay. So, there is a boss here. This is your, it's gonna be your first kind of major boss. It's not really major. Um, but he's just a boss. So... And this is where you're going to first start getting bounty now. This is where you can get some bounty. Only 625 bounty. So it's the Gorilla King boss. You need to be level 20 and you get 2,000, technically 4,000 for me because 2 x money. And you get 9,500 um, EXP. So then you're just going to, I'm going to roll my way there because it's faster for me. But once you get to the Gorilla Islands, or the Gorilla King Island, there is a bridge, you're just going to... Hold up. I have an idea. <laughs> Come here. Well, that sucks. Why, why was he so easy? Anyways. That's basically all the quests at the Gorilla Island. Now, we're going to be going to our next island, the Pirate Village. I don't really remember where that is. Honestly, I'm just going to use this to get there. I'm lost. Let's go back here. Cause my camera, my my thumb is like messed up with my my phone. I like guess like weird. Oh, there's Middletown. I don't know where. I is it like? That's Marine Starter. Isn't it like over here? Like isn't it like right next to the? Yeah, there it is. Okay, took me a while to get find it, but I finally found it. That's good. Basically, Scorching Donut on Doe is basically the same speed, is almost the exact same speed as the speedboat. So once you get here, your first quest, you need, I think you need to be like level 30 for this, I think. Yeah, once you're level 30, you come here. Basically, just do your thing. Oh, these guys don't get one shot. So that doesn't mean I can use Spiky Trident. Oh, they get one shot by Spiky Trident, but they don't get one shot by Katana? Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Come on, buddy. Oh, there he is. Gotta wait for these goofballs to spawn again. There he is. And then the quest is complete. There we go. So once you've done that, and you hit, I think, level 40, so you need to do that quest a few more times than the other ones. Brutes, yeah, level forty. You need like ten levels from those. But it's, it, if you had two XP, it takes not. It doesn't really take that long. Once you've done that, you want to get your spiky trident out. Like, 
I have it, but you probably don't. Honestly, I'm gonna use these um, this narrow weapon against them, the Iron Mace. And also, you can also if you want a better sword than katana, and you can get over here, you can get dual katana or iron mace. I'm gonna use I'm gonna probably use dual, dual katana because I have more mastery. I think no 32. Oh no, 41. I have more mastery on this one. This one will do more damage. And then plus this is their weapon. And you do get some items from these guys. You get leather. And I think sometimes you can get some scrap metal from these guys. No, wait. I don't think so. I think you get scrap metal from the pirates. And then you get... Um... Leather from these guys. I'm gonna, so then we're going to showcase this one. So... Does that. And then there's this little twirl thing. Then I don't think I showcase this one. Just kind of smack them. Basically. So then the last one is just like mace smash. Oh, that killed him. And then killer combo. Or just does that. So for the Bobby boss, he uses cut last, and Bobby has the chop fruit. It says that chop fruit is immune to swords, which that's technically true. So, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use a sword. Bobby, confirm. Cause I could have swore I've defeated this dude with a sword before. Like, multiple times. So, he is here. Calm down. There you go. Just the sword. Literally, that's all I use. I use the sword. That's it. You saw that. So, um... You can hit him with a sword. Um, I don't know why. Normally, you can't... You shouldn't be able to do that. I think he's done the little, like, thing where he, like... When you hit him, he does that little wobble thing where he takes damage. No, he doesn't take damage from it. Also, if you have the money for it, you can go... Not there. If you wanted to get a better fighting style, it's not really the better. My friends always tell me it's trash, but once you um, get it V2, it's this right here, Dark Step. I'm not going to equip it because Water Kung Fu is way better for me. But once you've done all that crap, it's desert, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, desert island. This one's hard for me to find. Like, I don't even know where this one is. Well, I, I've been to it multiple times, but I forget where to go. Never mind, I guess I was right. I was, I was, I remember it being, like, right next to Pirate Village, but I guess not. Well, no, it is. I don't know why I said guess not. So this is Desert. I never really liked this island at all, because it was the most confusing to find. Same with Whirlpool, like, with um, Underwater City and stuff. So the Desert Banders... Banders? The Desert Bandits... Basically, these guys, you just kind of fight them. Um, beware, though, because the desert officers, the next guys, at level 75, do have hockey. So if you have a um, Logia or an Elemental Fruit, they can hit through it, no matter what your level is. That is the only thing with these guys. Not these guys, but the other guys. And once I finish this quest, I will definitely show you the other guys, how they can hurt me and stuff. As long as they don't kill me. So, that is the desert... Um, bandits quest now once you get I think level 75 yeah level 75 What was the other one level 60 I think yeah the other one's level 60 so technically you only need five levels um, at pirate village once you've done that you get your next quest Desert officers now these guys are weird to find because you just want to come back to this little split path here from the uh, docks You just want to take the other path instead And then here you are So these are the guys I'm pretty sure they have hockey right do they? Oh no, I'm I lied then. I'm an idiot. Cause they don't have hockey. Oh, I guess I just remember. I, th I thought they, I thought they did for some reason. I don't know why, but like I said, I've never I never really come to desert because there's nothing to do here. You know, it's like basically useless to come here because there's nothing besides the swordsman hat. Which why would you want that? Unless you're trying to be a sword main. And you want the Swordsman hat? I'm pretty sure you... I think it's Swordsman hat that's here. Kind of fall in here. You go through this little tunnel here. Turn here. Just jump up. Hazan. I think, yeah, I think, it's how, I think that's how you pronounce it. What y'all looking for? Talk. Sup, my G? F just finesse the Swordsman hat, Lamau. Y'all finna buy some of the this merch for 150000 No. I'm not. 
that's a lot of money for something I'm never gonna use because I'm not a sword main. I am a blocks fruit. I'm a fruit main and kind of a sword main, but I don't. I use fruits more than swords. Also, I never finished the quest. I still gotta slaughter some dudes. Come here. Huh? How'd that miss? This ain't gonna miss this time. We don't weaken him just in case it don't kill him. Come here, little buddy. Come here. So he's dead. I don't know where the next island is after, is it after desert. What comes after this one? Yeah, level 75. I'm gonna pause it real f the video real fast. I'm gonna cut it to where until I figure out what island comes after this one. So I'll be right back. I have just learned. So the next island after this it is Frozen Village. So last island I guess of the video. So that's kind of nice. So I guess that's only like five islands into the game, and you already have your first hundred. I mean, I'll take it. It's quicker for me. So we're just going to be heading over to First Sea's Frozen Village. I don't think we can confuse with Snow Mountain and Second Sea, because they're not the same at all. So there it is. It's it's really easy to find this island, because this island is like the only one that looks like a little, like, kind of, like, block island in, like, a little mountain-type area. So once you're here, you're also going to find another map. You can find one at, uh, the, uh pirate starter as well so frozen village is very close actually to uh, the next um to prison actually i never even knew it was that close so you just want to climb up this ladder or you can take this whole path right here if you wanted to which i don't think this is a very good idea where's this e this doesn't even lead you anywhere uh, good yeah so this is this is your next island i mean you need, wait you need to be level 90 for these guys dang like 20 levels or something or no 15 levels snow bandits i'm pretty i'm 100 percent sure i'm pretty like i'm like 85% sure, or 95, I don't know, 75% sure this is the next island. Confirm. So, seven bandits. Pretty easy. Oh, I don't want to shot these guys. Okay. Oh, they're two shot with my swaggy trident, though. So, you just want to kill these guys for 90,000 XP? I mean, that's not bad. It's not good. But for what your level is going to be at 90, I mean, it's probably going to get you a level. Probably more than what you need. Also, you can get... The infamous triple katana here. Triple katana and pipe. I don't even have pipe. How much is pipe? Pipe. I bought it. Alright, where is it? There it is. What is this? Rage combo. Let me try this out. Oh, dang. It actually wasn't that bad. I probably should have killed. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's is he not here? So the boss isn't here. Oh god, this thing sucks. Uh, triple katana. This is basically just really good. Um, triple katana is way better than pipe. I don't know why I bought that. Um, I, I mean, it, you can't really blame me, though, because I didn't know what it did. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. You need me level 100 for this quest. This is where... I don't know why, but I thought the boss quest was going to be level 100. This is kind of weird, though. I don't care. But here's your, um, triple katana. Your air slash barrage. It's not bad, actually. I have 120... He just spawned in. Well, I mean, that's perfect for me, though, because then, then I can showcase me fighting the boss. And yes, he can hit and any boss, hit through hit through his hockey, uh, hockey, Logia. Doesn't matter if, they, if it shows they have hockey or not, because this guy doesn't have hockey on, like, he doesn't have hockey, he can still hit me through my Logia. So, keep in, keep in mind, even if you have, like, the greatest Logia, like, Doe or something, like I do, it doesn't matter if you're in third C and you just got the third C, you cannot kill the strongest boss in the game, like Doe King, really easy, because he can't hurt you. You, you, you know, you you need to, you, yeah, no, they can still hit through it. I, I stuttered really bad there. Also, I need to see what, how to upgrade, what, I need to upgrade my spiky trend, I haven't done that yet. Anyways, Villager, talk to him, you get your Yeti quest right here, once you're, oh, 105, I thought it was 110, never mind, oh, that, 
five levels, dang. Wow, that's really not that bad. Okay, let's see how fast we can kill this boy with, uh... Not that dude. This guy. Whoa, he's kind of tanky. Okay. Really? No, we ain't doing that. Well, anyways, that's the last few islands. That's the um, last island we're going to be doing for today. So you should be around 105. Oh, um, shoot. So the, from the villager, go down to here. Come over here. Right here. This is very important. It, make sure you have around like 150 grand, like um, berries. And don't spend it like on too much stuff. Save it if you um, wanted to. Go to the ability teacher right here. This guy is very important. Air jump. This allows you to do this. And then you can jump multiple other times like this. And it also makes it easier for doing this. Um, Next, so this one, I, think, I don't know how much that costs. How much does that cost? Only 10,000. Okay, that's not really that much. Aura, 25,000. This is basically where you hit Aura. It's not going to be that big for you. It's only going to go go like on your elbows, basically. It just makes it, hit, makes it to where you can hit through um, Logia. Like, I'm using Dope. If you didn't have that on, you can't really hurt me. This is what you need 100,000 for, because this one is a... um. It's cool for glitches. It just does that. Um, if you have human V2 and second seal, if you've done that, your cooldown's faster. Hold on, let me... Okay. There it goes. Yeah, so that it's basically a little faster. This guy right here, you can use Robux to get, um... Hockey colors to make your hockey look cool. You can only get rainbow hockey in a third seal, though. So, Yeah. But if you ha if you did get all three of those, then that's amazing because those are very good. Hockey, you don't need flash step, but hockey and um or or a hockey, not Ken hockey, like the uh, instinct, the, not those two. But um or a hockey and um air jump are mandatory. Basically, they're ba like if you don't get those, then it's gonna be very hard to get around. Like, if you don't have air jump, well then, like, see, if I only did that, I can't get up there. I don't have to do this. I thought that was a fruit right there. Like, it, it it's hard to get up stuff. See, I can't even get up here. So, I, that's why I have to have air jump. So, air jump is very, very good for this first C. And, well, basically every single C. Let's see if I can spin a fruit. Probably can't. Worth a shot, though. I have money for it. I think. My mom just texted me. What the heck? So. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't think I have the money for it. I might not have the money for this. That bad. That is really bad if I don't. Don't I need like a hundred ninety like thousand or something? Not hundred, uh, two hundred ninety-eight thousand or something. Is Saber here? Oh no, Saber Expert is not here. Um. Also, if you see um the thing at the top of the screen that says, um, oh yeah, you need to be level fifty for this. If you're level one hundred five, you can definitely do this. He is here. Yeah, that's a uh, Ken Hockey, the instinct. Really king. I'm gonna murder this boy. Where this boy at? How the? Huh? Oh heck no. We going the long way around. So this boy gets one shot by me with everything I use, like this. And I still didn't even give me. It. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm done with this. Anyways, this, this this was very fun to do, and I really hope this helped a lot. You know what? I hope this helped, and if it didn't, well, 